Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So, in light of the coming event, there is going to be like the time attack event, right? So, whoever can complete the dungeon faster will be awarded more points. And I'm actually looking at it on my other screen right here. So, I've actually designed a brand new team, a brand new K16 team that is able to do it pretty fast. But the thing is, as you can see here, it is not a full 100% clear. I don't know how well it actually performs. I think maybe about 95%. But in my opinion, if you are chasing the stamina efficiency to point ratio, you can actually lose 4 out of your 10 attempts as long as you can do it within the faster time limit and you're still going to be a little bit better off than having a 10 out of 10 clear at the second best timing tier. But obviously that does not take into consideration about stamina efficiency in general in terms of the amount of relics they're going to get in total. So I do think that having one loss is still okay. I think this one loss over here, I can live with it. But to go one step further, I think it's still a little bit more stamina efficient to partake in difficulty 15 rather than difficulty 16 and being stuck within the second speed tier. So without further ado, let's check out the team that I'm running with. Oh, I actually lost the last one as well, okay. So this is the team, right? Sander, Lin Xiao, and the twins as well as Suhua. So what I really like about this team is that uh, the twins, they don't really do a lot of damage, but they land a lot of defense breaks and seal debuffs which is going to be really good for us in uh, making sure that we have all the defense breaks we have the seal debuffs as well sometimes and just allowing us to do a little bit more efficient clearing so let's take a look at their stats real quick right so here's my sender here is my lin Xiao, and the two twins which you might have seen in the recent twin showcase video not too long ago and this is su hua but i think i'm gonna change up her relics a little bit after this video just to give her a little bit more accuracy as well so let's check this out I'm not going to talk too much, but I just want you to observe what's happening over here, right? So the thing is, the great thing about the White Twin, even though uh, he is type disadvantaged, is that when he uses his Heaven Awaits, he's going to channel the, the Black Twin. And the thing is, the Black Twin is going to land defense breaks and all that, which means the White Twin has a defense break on his kit. Well, you can think of it that way, right? And the Black Twin is just going to deal quite consistent DPS. So between his first and his third skill, he's going to benefit uh, the team a lot. So as you can see here, defense break, nice, very good defense break. And he's going to follow up with his own skill as well, which is going to return Heaven Awaits and absorb AP. So if you actually notice that his uh, absorb AP, uh, it is type disadvantage, but in multi hits, and therefore there is a good chance of us actually reducing his AP, which is pretty nice. And his normal skill as well, reduces AP from all the enemies over here, right? As long as it, it hits, of course. Um, so his normal skill would ab not absorb, sorry, it will reduce the AP of uh, all the all the ally all the, the followers around the boss as well. So that's pretty cool. So that's one run. Not bad, I think. It's quite fast. So the thing is, I do not have a guy. I'm sorry, I have a guy. I do not have an Oli. And the way some of the fastest Gaius team works, which uh, is actually Gaius, Oli, Q, Right, Q is also part of the mix. The way they do it so fast and so efficient is because the Ollie actually keeps one of your espers alive when the boss uses his uh his that, that, that coffin attack. So that's where the efficiency comes in, and that's why those teams can do it really well. But the thing is, I only have a guys and I only have a Q, which means that I'm not gonna be able to perform the fast team very efficiently. But anyway, this is the team, right? Let's just take a look at the damage spread a little bit. So as you can see, wow, this is quite this is quite surprising that he's actually dealing so much. I think that's because his white twin is actually channeling his attacks a little bit more frequently, right? Because the white twin is currently on ocean waves and whenever the ocean waves proc, the black twin will get another turn just like that. So I think maybe that's the reason why the black twin is actually dealing so much damage, right? I'm actually quite surprised at what I'm seeing over here. But let's check this out again. But what you realize is that uh, within the first two waves, they are not going to do all that much. He's just going to take out one Esper, right? Yeah, he's going to kill one Esper. His damage is only 39,000, which is... It's not that much, considering that he had a defense break. And my sender didn't have a defense break and he was still able to do 39,000 as well, right? So there is that. And one good thing about the white twin here is the stunts. I think the stunts on the second wave is quite crucial. And I think the turn order here matters quite a fair bit as well. So I think the white twin is the fastest, right? Yeah, the white twin is the fastest. Which is important if the white twin uses his third skill first. Or oh, this, yeah, this will work as well. So there you go, Heaven's, uh, Heaven awaits and channels more extra DPS. And uh, what you notice is that, the, look at the debuff counter, right? It's going crazy. The, the counter is really high and that's because of the White Twin. The White Twin extends debuffs 
with his third skill. So the thing is, uh, whenever they do their combo, your S3, then S3, then S3, then S3, the, the debuffs go up like crazy. The duration just goes up like crazy. And uh, I guess we were a little bit unlucky that we actually got hit, which means that our AP reductions didn't go through as, uh, as often as we needed them to. Okay, so let's just check this out one more time. And I think we can end off the video by taking a look at their resonances because I have not actually talked about their resonance yet. Or if you feel like it, you can skip to the end, but I think it's quite interesting to see how this works to make sure that you are following the right uh, pattern, the right uh, speed tuning and all that, and to understand exactly why this works. So pop, 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 right? One, two, three, all die just like that. And over here, I think Lin Xiao will use, his, use her AOE. Jeez, I keep calling her a he. Yeah, she will do this. It's not a problem that she wastes her defense break over here, right? Because like I said, in the next wave, my Black Twin would probably have his defense break up. Which is going to be about now. So he's the second fastest. Yeah, so there you go, defense break. Very nice. And that's about it, isn't it? So when you have the defense break down, and the attack buff... Oh no, rip! Okay, he didn't use his coffin skill at the start, which uh, I think is the reason why we lost in the first place. I think it's actually not that frequent that we do not AP control him and the other followers that often. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. Like, it shouldn't be that infrequent. We have a lot of AP control on this team. Like, the twin over here, this white twin, he has a lot of AP control. Okay. If my sender didn't get a kill here, we would have probably died. So obviously, it falls down to a little bit of RNG as well. If our defense breaks don't land, and then uh, things would just go south from then on. But I don't think that it's going to be that frequent because I have a lot of multi hits on my on my defense breakers. Like I mean, my black twin, for example, right? Yeah. So just take a look at the DPS spread again. The black twin is actually dealing, <laughs> putting in quite a lot of work, and even noting that he has a speed relic as well. So let's take a look at their resonances, starting with sender, right? So here you go. Two notes over here and three nodes over here for a little bit more speed and accuracy. And next we have the black twin. He has two up here and the same over here. So a lot of speed and a bit more accuracy as well, which really helps his kit. And the white twin is going to look quite similar. He has a little bit of crit rate on this node and he goes down and up to accurate aim, which I think this is the reason why we are landing our AP control as frequently as we are, because this actually reduces our miss rate to 35%. And here comes Lin Xiao. Honestly, I don't think you really need Lin Xiao anymore, right? Because we have defense breaks. So she is three up here, and that's about it because uh, she's not fully resonated just yet. And finally, we have our Suhua. So let's check it out. She's all the way here. So a little bit more speed as well, which is nice. Uh, this accuracy helps in terms of landing the attack debuff whenever she does. And then this is a little bit more heal, and that's about it. So because she's a Shima type, she does not need accurate aim at all. So that's about it for this video. I hope this was somehow informative for you. I hope you are able to achieve your one minute clear time and with that, you should be able to get the most points uh, per run every single day, right? Well, at least for the Kronos boss attempts, that is. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video. And don't worry, I'm going to try to figure out how to make a very fast APEP team as well. And this is also part of the reason why I think I'm going to rebuild my Suhua over here.